Hi, and welcome to this video. My name is Jaime Valencia. I'm with the PDI Technical Advisors team in Cisco. And through this video, I'll show you how to use the Prime Collaboration deployment to create a CUCM and Nyman Presence to server cluster, which we'll use in future videos. I will not go through the installation of PCD. I will assume that you have already installed it as you use the same wizard that you would use for a CUCM installation. The first step could be to log in into our PCD server and we will start adding ESXi hosts. As we log in, you will notice that I already have a couple of tasks. If you are logging into a fresh install, the next screen that is going to show up is going to be blank. As you can see, I have already used it to install a couple of servers in here. But on a fresh install, this could be blank. So our next step, or the first step that you could take, could be to add ESXi host to your PCD server. So you go to Inventory, ESXi host. As you can see, I already have two servers in here, but we need to add a third one. So we click on Add ESXi host. We're going to use the hostname or the IP address. We will use the root username and password. And you can add a description if you want. After that, we click OK. And as you can see, we get a message that the server has been successfully added. And you can see my new server in here. Once you have added your ESXi host, the next thing that we need to do is to upload the ISO images that we are going to use for the fresh installation. In order to do so, you could need to SFTP into your PCD server using the admin SFTP user, which I'm showing here. In order to upload the files, you can use a program like FileZilla. And I will show you that I already have my configuration set up for this. So as you can see, I have my PCD server in here. In here, you type in the host. You type in the admin SFTP user, and the password is going to be the same that you used for the PCD GUI. So let's connect to the server. This procedure might take a while, so just make sure that you keep an eye on the status to make sure that it's connecting. And as you can see, we have successfully connected to the PCD server via SFTP. So once we have done this, you will see several folders in here. The one that we are interested in on this video is the fresh install folder because we are going to be doing a fresh install. You would also use this folder if you were going to do a migration. So let's click on it. And as you can see, I have already uploaded some of the files that we will be using for this procedure. If you want to upload a new file, all you need to do is to go to the file navigator on the left side and just choose the file and move it over. Once you have uploaded the files, you can go to Inventory, SFTP Servers and Data Store, and you should be able to see those same files. And it will also tell you on which directory they are. So you can see the files that were already in my server that we are going to be using for fresh installation. Our next step is to deploy the blank virtual machines that we will use for the installation. PCD won't do this for us. We need to go into our vSphere client, go to File, Deploy OBF Template, and then we need to pick the one for CUCM. We are going to be using the 1000 user node for this. We are going to deploy it on the server that we added on PCD. As this is a lab, I usually choose theme provision so that I can use the space the most efficiently way.
And as you can see, we have our test machine here. So right now I'm going to repeat this procedure for IEMAN presence, and then we will go back to PCD in order to use those blank virtual machines. Our next step is going to use the blank virtual machines that we just created. We go to Inventory, Clusters, and we click on Define New UC Cluster. We're going to type in the name for the process. We click Next, and we click on Add Node. Here we fill in the blanks with the same information that you could use for a regular installation. You need to choose the product type, either Unified CM, Unified IM and Presence, Cisco Unity Connection, or Contact Center Express. In this case, it's going to be a Unified CM. It's going to be the MOH server, the primary call processing, the primary TFTP, and the publisher. And we need to look for the blank virtual machine that we created. And here is the one, and we are going to click on it, and click OK. And we're going to do the same thing for the IAMAN presence. We are going to change the product type to IEMAN Presence. This one is going to be the publisher and the primary presence. And we're going to choose the IEMAN Presence virtual machine that we created. And we click OK. You need to repeat this procedure for as many servers as you want. And then click Next. In here, we're going to set the OS administration credential, the application credentials, the security password, and the certificate information. Once you have filled in all that information, we click Next. And if we're going to set the DNS settings, we need to click on which servers we want to set the settings for, and click Assign DNS settings. You need to type in the IP of your DNS server and the domain in which your servers are going to be, and click OK. And the configuration is going to show up here, the IP and the domain. We click Next, and we need to type in the NTP server that we're going to use. In my lab, I only have one, but if you have more than one, you just need to fill in as many as you need. Once you have done that, click Next. If you want to change the MTU size, you can do it here. I usually use the default, and we click on Next. On this page, we need to choose the time zone for our servers. 
in this case I'm going to look for the Mexico City option. I'm going to click on apply to select it. And once information shows up down here, we click on finish. And as you can see, I have this new cluster in here. Once we have created our cluster, we need to go to Task, Install. In here, we need to click on Add Install Task. And by default, it's going to find the ones that we have already created, in this case, the cluster that we just created. As that is the only one that I have, that's the reason that there are no more options here. So we're going to be installing a CUCM and an IMM presence. We click Next. And here we are going to be using the files that we uploaded to our SFTP. As you can see, you can only see the CUCM images in here. This is going to be an 11.0. And the same for IM presence. Even though the, the four files are in the same directory, you can only find the one related to the product that you're going to be installing. Now we need to choose the time in which the task is going to be performed. We can schedule it, we can start it manually, or you can start it after you complete this wizard. This time I'm going to start it manually. And in here you see a summary of how the servers are going to be installed. In this case, the first server to be installed is going to be the CUCM publisher. Once it completes that, it's going to continue. It's going to install the IEM and presence publisher. It's going to continue. And since that is the last server, it's going to finish the task. We click Next. And we review that this is going to be an installation task. This is the name of the cluster that we defined. These are the images that we are going to use, and these are the two nodes that we are going to be using. And we click Finish. Once the installation task has been created, it will show up in the list, as you can see here. This is the one that I already ran. As you can see, the status is successful. This is a new one, which has not been started yet. We can validate the task to make sure that there are no errors. And we can click on View Details to see the rest of the information, the name of the cluster, the images that we are going to be using. And at this time, we are going to start this. This is the virtual machine that is going to be installed. As you can see, the procedure is beginning. I haven't done anything to this virtual machine other than to deploy it. Right now, PCD is the one taking care of loading the images, and it's going to push all the information for this server to be installed. We're not going to be looking at the whole installation. This step you should already be familiar with. I just wanted to show you how it's going to be, how it's going to look like. Right now I'm going to leave this installation running and we'll come back once the IAM and presence install begins. CUCM just finished the installation about a minute ago. As you can see, we already got the message that it was successfully installed. IAM and presence just started the installation. As you can see, the start time of this was 4.41 and the end time that PCD detected was 19.03. In reality, the installation of CUCM was just over two hours. It probably finished around 6, 42, 43, and then it took around 20 minutes for all the services to come up, and then PCD detected the installation to be finished.
IMM presence just finished with the installation and on PCD we will see that the status of the task is successful. We can see the start time of the IMM presence installation which is 1903 and the end time which is 2119. Just as CSEM, the installation for the virtual machine of IEM and Presence was just over two hours, so that means that the successful message on the virtual machine was shown around 21.02-21.03 and those extra 20 minutes are until all the services come up. And we have a wrap to the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching this video and we will be using this test cluster for some new videos. Thank you.